And we have the final numbers for the race for Mobile. And these are the revised numbers that we had uh, changed from a few minutes ago. Either way, Sandy Stimson is the next mayor of Mobile. He needed 50% plus one. He got about 52% of the vote. And we have live team coverage for you of this big election night in the Port City. Fox News reporter Renee Dials live at the Sandy Stimson campaign party. And our Steve Alexander is with Mayor Sam Jones and his supporters. And Andrew Perez, he's live at Government Plaza where the absentee ballots were counted tonight. And we are going to start with Renee. It's a good night for the Stimson campaign, Renee. Well, we're here at, this is definitely a celebration party. And uh, we've got hundreds of people here. And they've been celebrating for quite a while now after uh, they have heard the announcement. Uh, Sandy Stimson is joining me here with his wife. And he made the announcement just a little while ago. He made the announcement just a little while ago. Tell me, when did you get the call, I guess, or you know it was... I, I received the call back in the room, in the holding room, a few minutes before it became public knowledge. And uh, one of the ladies on the staff called me and said, we won. And I let out a big shout, and then everybody shouted. Now, uh, did you have a call from uh, Mayor Tom? Yes, I did. The mayor called me and congratulated me on winning. I told him I look forward to working with him on the transition. What's this? You've been just tireless, I think, during these last uh, weeks or so. Was there any time that you felt that you might not pull it off? Oh, uh, well, you know, you really, I didn't think in those kind of terms. I really didn't. That may sound strange to you, but, but I just always focused on what we had to do to accomplish the mission, and that's where I tried to stay focused. And uh, as far as being tireless and all, I can get a 10-minute nap in the day and keep going. <laughs> so where do you go from here now? What do you want to see? Well, it's very important that we now start accumulating or getting together our, uh, a, I'm going to call it a transition team, but we'll have an advisory team for the transition just like we did for the campaign. And there'll be some new people that we bring into that that we've met along the way and so that bring a lot of knowledge to the table so I'm excited about that. Were you at all concerned when you heard about the uh, this problem with absentee ballots? Did you think that might be an issue for this? Well, you know, I heard about it but today, right now, that's history. So it doesn't matter. And we did really well on absentee balance. You know, it was almost 50-50, and that was very surprising, I think, to a lot of people. But we had a real effort to get out the absentee balance, and it worked. What do you think was the deciding factor uh, in this particular race? Well, I really believe that it was two things. One, it was the messaging resonated uh, with the citizens. And second, it was our get-out-the-vote uh, effort. Now, when you were giving your speech, uh, you made mention of your father. I think we saw him here in the wheelchair. You talked about your, your yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he's here. He's 93 years old. He's the best dad in the whole wide world. And, uh, yes, he's here. Yeah. So about oh, he's very, he's, he's very excited for me. Now, you're here with your wife, Jean. It's my wife, Jean. I think every time that I've seen him, he's been by his side. He's been working for Well, I been working but not nearly as hard as he has. I'm just so proud of him and how hard he's worked and everybody on his team has worked harder than anybody I've ever known. It's just a great success for the whole city. When you take your, uh, when you take this office, what's going to be your first priority? Well, first off, I think we've got to get a grip on, you know, what the financial situation really is. So I have a true understanding of that, because until you really understand, it's difficult to say the different things that you'll do. But truly, as we get a grip on that, I want the city employees to know that I'll be the biggest advocate that they have. I really look forward to working with them. My past experience has shown that they know things that need to happen to change to improve efficiencies and all. You give them the tools and the support they need, and we can really make Mobile move forward. So really, I think my first priority is getting to know this, uh, the employees. Do you get to rest now? Pardon? Do you get to rest now? Uh, I'm going to rest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to rest for a couple of days. I am. Yes, I am. Look, and we look forward to talking with you in the future a lot. Very good. There you have it. Mobile's new mayor, Sandy Stimson, says he's ready to get down to business. First, he's going to do a little more celebrating tonight, and then he's going to get some rest. Reporting live here at Fort Whiting Armory, I'm Renee Dallas for Fox TV. All right, thank you very much, Renee. Clearly a lot of excitement there. It could hard.